All right, I'm back. I'm ready to get this shit started. <laughs> so you may recall yesterday, we finished up Sayador's tale and started Rydia's tale. We are now in the sealed cave, looking for uh, looking for the crystal, and well, we made Kalka an absolutely overpowered, uh, an absolutely overpowered monster. So I do want to get into a random encounter. Set my commands. You know what? I'm actually going to have Luca attack. Blaster missed. Bronze. Our bronze hourglass. Her spirits. Uh, her healing is getting up there. Luca gained a level. What's in here? A potion. <laughs> Die, bitch! Healing a lot more often than I remember her uh, healing. Although she is still relatively low level, she's only level 17. An ether. If I recall right, we are going to be going up against the demon wall, so eventually I do want to um, set Rydia's command. What the hell is that? To use some offensive magic. Yep. Pig. A cacao ore. How many of those do we have? One. We need four and we can get her a tomahawk, which is actually going to be a big deal. Not only will it improve her, uh, her offensive capabilities, but it will actually improve her offensive capabilities from the back row. Die, bitch! Kalka and Brina. I don't want to go there quite yet. I want that treasure. For once, I didn't forget to start my recording. You silenced Kalka! I don't know of anything any more useless. A high potion. Another door. I don't remember that door being there in the first run. dance? Well, I mean, it works, I guess. Okay, who are you gonna go after? Rydia. Protect me. I mean, that's really not such a big deal because Rydia is such a high level. 
to protect things. Sorcerer. And Luca gains a level. Alright, so let's Pahonix down Rydia. Get her some healing. Well, we have a lot of high potions, so get her some healing in. Another treasure. I really hope that's a Kakal or we need three more of those. Kalka and Brina? A horned armor! Upgrade for you? Man, that magic defense is awful! go. You slowed Brina. You are aware that's not necessarily such a big deal, right? All that means is we're going to be able to murder everything before you attack. Or in this case, heal. Die, bitches! Yeah, she's using her healing dances a lot more often than she used to. What do we have here? I'm not gonna complain about Brina being a, uh, being a healer. Certainly not. Gold needle and a dry ether. You slowed Rydia. Whoop de doo. One oh three. Which is always good. She needs more strength. Shell dance? Why shell? Lilith doesn't use magic. Die, bitch! Bats! It just had to be bats! You missed Rydia! How do you miss- And that was completely worthless, Brina! Okay, so what's Kalka's speed? 31! Okay, so I am going to drop... Well, first I'm going to rest because Aridia needs mana.
and I am gonna drop a save, but in a different file right here. There is a reason for that. Make sure I get all the treasures. Bavaros. I have one level disadvantage to Radia and almost have as much health as she does. Just goes to show how low Radia's health is. I mean, that'd be good if this were a boss fight. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. We're about to get into one. Lydia and Luca gained levels. Okay, you're 1,200 away. I am gonna grind that level out because I do want to get into more random encounters. Not only to grind out this level, but to, uh, but to reset Rydia's commands. We're gonna need her to have different commands. And having Kalka and Brina? As strong as they can get would be really good. Especially right now. Dick. Okay, we finished this fight with full health. So now I want to reset Rydia's command. And who's next on the level up list? Well, nobody anytime soon. Okay. All I want to do is reset Rydia's command. That's all I'm looking to do, just reset Rydia's command. Rydia? Okay, black magic. Uh, Thundera. And actually, I do want to go... Okay, that's fine. That's fine. All, I'm, no, all I want her to do is use Thundera as her auto battle command. And I also want to go back and, uh, and uh, advance the moon phase. With black magic down, I actually want that to go up. I want black magic to be powerful. Curaja dance! This early? Okay. No, I don't want to save quite yet. Rest. Okay, so now we're at the full moon. Black magic is now increased. Okay, make sure I saved on my new file. Yes, I did. 
now we can go up against the demon wall. Lydia is as strong as she's going to get for this fight. Run! They absorb lightning. You know what? Fuck it. We have ethers! Again, that's fine. Is it going to do that again? You do know what happened last time, don't you, Radia? I think you were on the party? Now, this is why I wanted black magic up. Because this is just like last time. Which means this is a very timed fight. We have to kill this thing before it gets too close. Now, the reason black magic as opposed to, say, a standard attack is because Luka is losing less damage than Rydia is gaining. So it's actually beneficial for you to make sure that you're on the full moon rather than anything else. Especially if Brina is going to keep using her healing dances, that's actually very good. Protect dance. Uh, would you like to use a Suna dance to heal yourself? Or a haste dance to make sure that we can get our attacks off in a hurry? Cure dance. Of course not. Brina is about to get stoned. Kira dance. Well, that helps. I mean, Radia took a uh, Radia took a pounding. Okay, haste dance. That helps. It just would have been nice if you used that at the very beginning of the fight, god damn it! Die, bitch! Kalka and Brina leveled up. <laughs> okay, so now we can put Rydia back on her old, uh, on her old man, the heel staff. Get Rydia. There we go. I gotta say, that demon wall got a lot weaker over the years. Isn't that your security device? An ogre. It just had to be a fucking ogre. Again, good thing those guys are slow as shit. Again, 
you're a good dance. Why don't you use that more often? And by the way, the rates in which she uses her dances uh, actually do change level to level. A blood flower. God damn it. Wait, can we even warp out? Not that I want to. No, we can't. I actually do want all the experience I can get, mainly for Kelka and Brina. way <laughs> Luca gained a level which is good we need her to gain levels we also need Rydia to gain levels and Kalka and Brina to gain levels. We're actually over-leveled for where we are. I think, if I recall right, we're over-leveled. But getting all this extra experience certainly does help. Not only for her challenge dungeon, but there actually is something that's about to happen. Which is why I made that, uh, that secondary save. way out. I want the way out. <coughs> yeah, it tells you how uh, how happy sleep I am right now. I forgot the way out! Uh, where the way out was! I gotta say, though, Brina using her healing dances more often is actually a refreshing change of pace. And I remember the last time I played this, on the Wii? You know, especially starting in uh, the late 20s, early 30s, she would never use her healing dances! Which is kind of a problem when you have, when you don't have a dedicated white mage! Although the early healing rod certainly does mitigate that a little bit. It's still not a, it's still not a, with no pun intended, a cure for not having a dedicated white mage. I just went backwards. I do not want to be here. AoE by default certainly doesn't hurt either.
I think that's where we're being? No. It's a room that leads nowhere. Kira dance far more often than I remember. Again, another, another major benefit. Another, another major bonus. Yeah, I can talk. So you were here last time. You know exactly what happened when you took the crystal. Why did you do that again? Hi, mysterious girl. Either idolins or crystals. Uh, you mean you? And they sacrifice themselves to save us. What a waste of time! Lost a dark crystal. And Radia's unconscious on her back. She's 24! Have at it! we didn't have to fight her this time. Actually, we haven't had to fight her yet. She took it. They're dolls. Their lives are literally infinite. Didn't even pretend to take you seriously. She doesn't need to. She didn't need to. She didn't need to. Um, Luca? You just saw how powerful she was. She didn't need to! Do the overworld! Terrible idea that could easily backfire. How's a black chocobo doing here? Palum? Uh-huh, so Palum is hitting on Luca, huh? Uh, Calca, Brina, hi? Um, Rydia? Thankfully these guys don't hit very hard.
So they're mechanical dolls. Um, Luca, they're dolls. They can be repaired. Sick radio on them. Ow. So yeah, all she can do is defend and heal as necessary. You know, like now. You dick. Oh no, she can't even heal! She can't use any items whatsoever! Now thankfully, that just knocked Kalka out. I mean, we had to fight this battle anyway, so... Why not sick Rydia on them, Luca? I'm okay. I'll get her back up in a jiffy. <laughs> okay, so there's another cave there. And we're in a guard. Okay, so that's the location of Rydia's Challenge Dungeon. That one we will run, eventually. Let's see, Sage's Miter. Uh, Steel Helm. Rune Armlet. Um, Okay, so she's got more spirit than intelligence. That's actually good, because she is our healer. Um, let's get her... The Thorn Whip. With Rydia being our healer... Ooh. That won't work.
I mean, we might be able to use it from the item screen rather than, um, or rather than uh, from her inventory or her equipment, which would be really nice. Well, I mean, having it to begin with really wouldn't be such a big deal. Now, I should bring up that the Kakal Ore that we have is now useless. We cannot go back to the Underworld. That's actually why I made that secondary save. Because there's something else we won't be able to do. Okay, so... The Agart Mine. My potion. So we actually did miss out on the Tomahawk. Well, sort of. If I wanted to, I could... Uh, Radio, why are you defending? Oh, this also means we can put Luca in the back row. Because Big Throw will do uh, will do full damage from the back row. You missed. Uh, excuse me. Oh, power armlet. Uh, yes, please. from the back row and half damage. Why the hell not? Actually, Luca, I want you to take out that Kate Sim. Uh, I know that attack is up, but at this point, she's still, uh, she's still doing as much damage as Big Throw, a down Big Throw from the back row. And it also, again, improves her defenses because she's taking half damage, uh, half physical damage, from the back row. gained a level she she needs all the damage she can get she's our only attacker for the rest of this tale this includes by the way uh, uh, this includes by the way the challenge dungeon they got the gates in the right moon phase. And a gold needle. I don't understand why we have that gold needle.
I think we might be in the right moon phase. I need to get to the uh, to basement four. You dick. Okay, are we in the right right moon phase? Uh, no, we are not. I think I might want to retreat, go back to guard, and wait until we do get to the right moon phase. Well, there should be a save point. That exists. So at least we have a way to pass time. Okay, we are in basement three. Stuff for me, Phoenix down. You motherfucker. You motherfuckers. You motherfuckers. You idiots! Okay, thirteen eighty seven. Oh, you motherfuckers! Thankfully, Luca should be able to take these guys out in a hurry before they really do any serious damage to us. Monster? Ugh. Die, bitch! Hey, bitch. Okay, so Luca gained a level. Always good. Okay, so there are more treasures for me to get. Me want. Especially if they're gear upgrades. Especially for Luca. She really needs them. Seeing as she is our only attacker. Oh. Got the Kate set. Guys, 
missing shit. You guys ain't shit! Get wrecked, asshole! Okay, 25. And Riddy is about to level up. I actually hope that there's a save point right before the boss fight here. Because I think I have enough resting items to get to the proper moon phase. It'd be nice if I did. That actually worked. It worked for once. You motherfuckers! And we are slow as shit. <coughs> Luca, hurry up and kill that ogre! Thank you! I believe you're gonna target that cake set. Good! Get wrecked! Oh, she learned Osmos. I mean, that would be good if she wasn't our healer. And if her healer what and if her heals weren't free. And they're strong enough that, you know, they really can't do shit against us. Ow! Get wrecked. You're about to get pwned, bitch. A mystery egg? What will it hatch into? A green dragon! Are you fucking serious? Ow! Uh, Rydia? I just got wrecked. Dick move, game! <laughs> Dick move! Did I? Uh, oh shit. Did I save before the demon wall, or after? I think I saved after. Well, I guess we're about to find out. Because what this does is it gives me another opportunity to get some Kakal ore. And get a fucking tomahawk.
That was, a uh, total shit. A fucking green dragon that does over a thousand damage to us! Which would absolutely destroy Rydia. On the first shot! That's a lot of progress I lost! I think it'd be faster if I just went and go saw the crystal. You motherfuckers. No, oh, swap rows. Time to set up Rydia's command. Uh, random encounter, please. Reckless. Why shell dance? They don't use magic. Alright. Time to heal up. Ether up. And go through this shit again! Again? Against the demon wall this time. Brina, you're an idiot. Okay, that's better. It's still not haste dance though, which we certainly could use.
Uh, Brina? Haste Dance? Please? Before you get stoned! You're an idiot. And again, shell dance. Brina, you're an idiot. You're lucky Calco was there. Get out of here and do that again. Because the green dragon was a thing. I didn't even know that was a thing in that dungeon. Kind of a dick move, game. Now, save here so we don't have to do that again. I'm gonna save in slot one. Because we still have Kalka and Brina in slot two. So for what's coming up next, I can always retreat. against bats! Ah, that's right. We need to reset your command, Brania. Hurry up! I mean, I know you got thick over the last 17 years. Trust me, I really do. But you're a veteran of the first war and still in your prime. But why are you moving so slowly? the horned armor. And Although against bats, it really doesn't matter. Everything we have is... Uh, every single attack here is row independent. Bring up in uh, in regards to Rydia's design in this uh, in this game. In the Nintendo Wii original, they actually changed it because of uh, because of how scantily clad she is. Uh, she actually has an undershirt and a skirt to go with that leotard she's wearing, and her sleeves were also were also lengthened. That was actually changed for the West. Something 
something I forgot to mention yesterday. does give us another opportunity to go around and make sure we collect all the cacao ore. Oh, wrong way. Because I believe we need three, and there's a lot more that I missed. I believe there's one in the Feymarsh, one in the Dwarven, uh, the Dwarven Castle that I missed, and one in Tomra. You silence Brina. That is useless. Now, there is apparently one more here, but you know, what can you do? I really want that tomahawk. Kalka and Brina leveled up. Nope, not the way out. Way out. Dead. Yeah, we've seen this before. Speed up. sure that not yet okay so first and foremost I do want to go back to the fame arch because apparently there was a call or that I missed here and 
these uh, these are some uh, easy encounters, so yeah, it ain't gonna take that long to get there. Speed up. Oh, wrong way. Speed up. Hey, we actually get a level on these things. <laughs> Okay, so how many do I need? I need... Three. Bronze Hourglass. Why do I want that? Oh, by the way, uh, we can put you in the back row. So apparently, there's a Kakal ore that I missed in the library. And this is not the library. Here we go. Okay. Is it not here? Down here? There we go. Now we only need two, and we get the tomahawk. Now we can get the fuck out of here. You know, these extra items certainly would help. I'm trying to leave! Or not, eye drops. I mean, those are, uh, eye drops for everybody here are completely useless. We're not using a standard, well, not yet. Okay. Not yet. So, Warven Castle. So apparently it's the Eastern Tower. Second floor in a suit of armor. Oh, there's a treasure I missed. Okay. Make sure I got everything here. Iron Shield. Silver apple! And a opponent's down. The silver apples would that way come in handy. Okay, so next is in the basement infirmary and desk. 
I think I already got that one, but just to be sure, let's check it. Yeah, I think I already got this one. No! Okay! So I've got four Kakal ores. Okay, so I'm ready to go get that tomahawk. fuck out of here. There are still more, but this is really all I want. Dancing Dagger and Tomahawk. A grand total of seven if you're really efficient with it. And don't make the fucked up mistake I made in making the battle axe. Okay, so Luca, give me that battle axe. Well, I already had one. Axes and hammers, tomahawk. Okay, so it isn't much in the way of an attack power bonus. But there is a reason I wanted to make the tomahawk. Let's go ahead and get into a random encounter and see what that was. You see, the tomahawk has a special property about it. By using the attack command, she, uh, she uses big throw. Now, the difference between the tomahawk and the big throw, uh, and the big throw command, is when the big throw command is used, there's still that wind up, uh, that wind up time. But when the attack command is used, she uses it instantly. So it still does full damage from the back row. So... In sh really, it's best to use the attack command when using the tomahawk. Unless, the, uh, unless your abilities are up. At which point, you know, you know, what can you do? You know, maybe, maybe use big throw, sure. But, not yet, I'm going to go rest. On the norm, if you're equipped with the Tomahawk, it's best to have Luka in the back row and using the attack command. We're about to go to a guard. Do the overworld! Yeah, we've seen this already. Cannon fire! We've seen this already. Hurry it up. Laka! I'm okay. Speed up. We've seen this already. All right. Now back to a guard cave. After resting and picking up items, because oh dear god, my face against that dragon. Move! Okay. Well, we rest first. Out those, and we still have 10,000 gil left. Get rid of 
that, that, and that, and that, and that, and that, and that. And that. I'm not gonna need the spider cell. I know what I kept saying about Sayador's tail, but I don't need the spider suck for this one. So all we really need is defensive upgrades. Okay, so what moon phase are we on? Waxing moon. Uh, this is actually the right moon phase. Uh, so I actually do want to get resting items. Get resting items, dumbass. You need them, and you need a lot of them. Tents in particular, because they're cheaper. Load up on them. And save, dumbass. Not on your secondary save. Not on this one. This is pre-Demon Walk. I want to keep that one. But before we try this cave again, I do need a moment. I need to use the restroom. I'll be right back. I'm back. Fell. Come on, Buffalo. And Kansas City leads in the fourth quarter with three minutes remaining. Who has the ball? Well, Buffalo does. did say. We're now ready to do this again. This time we're in better shape.
it still takes her uh, it still takes her two attacks to get rid of the uh, needle hog. Another first end, and he'll be in field goal range. Oh, nice! Conservative, don't play conservatively. There's still two minutes left in the game. You still have a chance for a touchdown. And you don't want to leave any time on the clock. I mean, 99 should have taught you that. Which, by the way, that was a forward pass. In my undiluted mind, but it was still a forward pass. <laughs> Sex potion. Snottage. damage to him? Is the Dumbox throwing element? Yep, it's throwing element! <laughs> okay, so note to self, you find an egg, you run from that shit. some levels. I mean, badly. Honix down. Okay, this is good. I'm really hoping I get lucky eventually and get a summon? Which, the Mind Flayer can drop a summon. It's exceedingly rare. I again, I think it's uh you motherfucker. I think it's something like one in a thousand. Osmos. Alright. An antidot? A plate mail! Now her defenses get even better. A reduction of offense, but that's fine. Decoy.
looked like there was a penalty, so what the hell happened there? So, wow! I, Buffalo, I think you left a little too much time on the clock. Sure, you might be up by four. But you left a little too much time on the clock, goddammit! Okay, so that's actually where I want to be, eventually. I want to look for... this. Okay, so there's actually a room that I'm looking for here. A very specific room I'm looking for. Gloves. Yes, please. <laughs> Bitch. Biatch. So where's that room? Right here? Wait, am I... I just swore I was on the... Right moon... There we go! Okay, so these are what I'm looking for! Now these only show up in this room in the waxing moon phase. They're durable as fuck, as you can see. And they do reflect magic, so Rydia, aside from being a healer, is completely useless. Now the reason I want to find these things is because of a rare drop they have. Actually, two, uh, two rare drops. I only need one of each. Mithril Bolt, that's one of them! Now they gave me two of them, but I only need one. And it is, again, it is a rare drop. You gotta be kidding. Defensive holding. Why?! In fact, these drops are so rare, that it's actually very possible we could run out the rest of this moon phase, which is why I loaded up on resting items. Go back to the save point, rest until we get the right moon phase, come back and try it again. Experience is shit, but you at least don't hit hard. And that's not why I want these guys, though. The Mithril Nut! Okay, so that's the other thing I'm looking for. That was actually a, a lot more lucky than it did, had any right to uh, any right to be. You know, I remember that when I was playing this on the Wii, it took me about two hours of, uh, of grinding to get those. But I got the Mithril Nut and Mithril Bolt. That's exactly what I'm looking for.
Radia gained a level. Spring. Wait, were there three of them? I need to check that. I forgot about that one. Can't seem to beat him in the postseason. Okay, so what that do to your stats? 3738. 4233. I want your spirit to be higher. Sage's miter it is. At least for now. That's ball game. Buffalo 24, Kansas City 20. Not quite as high scoring as you'd expect. Luca gained a level. Hi. The Agar Toys. Charging up its magic. Okay, so here we need to counter with ice magic. Yes, we do. Rydia, do your thing. Ow! And we just got wrecked. forgot about that part. Okay, so make sure. Okay, nut, bolt, and spring. Good. So, okay, black magic is down. I want black magic to be up.
attack is down, which means at this point, having Luca use Big Throw is actually a viable strat. Okay, so now I want you to use the Surf Light. <laughs> and Luca is going to play the role of healer. All right, charge up. There we go. Thankfully, we got ice magic on the way. Dick! Yeah, he stands no chance. <laughs> you time it to where it is about half done. There we go. It's gonna need to be a little more than half done. Or he's gonna counter attack, or he's gonna counter with that flamethrower move. We can handle that uh, that very uh, that little damage. Oh, that was really close. Uh, note to self. Die, bitch! A guard tight! Now we can get our commands back. And absolutely dominate on the way back. So, why haven't this game been decided yet? There it is. What the fuck are you doing? Cowboys and Eagles got a backup quarterback that's uh, that's undefeated in uh, in his career, his short career, taking over for Dak Prescott. And you have the Eagles who are just undefeated.
Yes, we did. Drink that sweet nectar. Heal your health and mana! Even though it wasn't necessary. Get wrecked! More levels! More levels! Because we're gonna be running our first challenge dungeon! And it ain't gonna be pretty! Okay, so... You... Go for the cage Oh, you can one-shot the cage set even with the attack being down! Okay. I'm not gonna complain about that. This press the day was. Steelers beating the Buccaneers. The, the Steelers finally defeated Tom Brady. After a rather not good performance from Brady. Get wrecked. <laughs> Hi, Calca and Brina. So, Rydia isn't an engineer. What the? How is she able to repair an airship? They're dolls. They can be repaired. Okay, so here's where the Mithril Nut Bolton Spring come in. You can also use them to fix Kalka and Brina. So, here we saved Kalka and Brina. If you didn't have all three of them, then Kalka and Brina would be permanently, uh, would be made permanently unplayable. We still can't get them back though. That's actually why I made that safety save uh, before the demon wall. An oifquake? Uh, could that be Titan? <laughs> wakey, wakey, Titarino! Now 
rotate. No. So, you ain't doing shit. I mean, you're hurting Luca, but you're so slow that it really doesn't matter. Is this earthquake getting more powerful? And is he getting faster? Looks like he's getting stronger and faster the more uh, the more we hurt him, or the longer this fight goes. Alright, beat the shit out of Titan already! Okay, uh, Luca? And bye, Luca! What the fuck?! Man in black! For you the tower awaits shiny tower the horrors of the past come back to visit us again uh Uh, yeah, who the hell are you? Why should I trust you? <laughs> um, yes, save this file. Over that one, not my safety file. Now. By simply loading up this file, we can now run her challenge dungeon! <laughs> yep. Yep. The perfect place for me, huh? It isn't easy. You're not wrong! You are not wrong! Especially not having a dedicated, a dedicated healer. Well, somebody that can heal.
What the fuck? So... Luca? I'm gonna need you to go after that news eye. Seriously, he's called a news eye. Ow! Back attacks suck. So that's 14 commands before I can even input one! Now thankfully... The experience that we get here is pretty obscene, not gonna lie. And by the way, all those uh, potions I bought? Yeah, they're right that come in handy. As you can probably guess. Ow! Yeah, that only did eight. So, Laser Barrage is tied to his health, apparently. Which means he's about to die. Die, bitch. You know what? Let's speed this shit up. Rydia, use your magic. No. Fire up. Because that is ridiculous. That is ridiculous, Rydia! I mean, I understand I got you in healing gear. I get that, but that was just... That was stupid! Couldn't even kill one! Well, we at least dropped him... Uh, they at least dropped an elixir. Now, I'm curious. Okay, so I can leave at will. The dough attacks. You're targeting Luca. Bye, Luca. Seven Phoenix Downs. I might actually want to retreat and just grab some Phoenix Downs. Um, what? I thought these paths led to somewhere. Guess not. You're attacking Luca again. God damn it, will you stop that? She needs experience too! Ninth Dimension actually misses! For some reason! Well, he at least got the kill before... Before Luca was murdered. Explore 
exploring, exploring, until we reach a dead end. You dick. <laughs> the wall attacks! Are you fucking serious? Thankfully, I believe these demon walls really aren't that strong. The only problem is, we got rid of you using fire up. Which means she can easily run out of mad mana, and she's about to. And I don't think we can buy ether. Gained a level? You motherfucker. <sighs> Dick. Buy. It's just a matter of being, uh, ensuring I have the mana to survive. So let's go ahead and, and uh, uh, check this wall, see if it leads anywhere. Then retreat. after this fight if she survives yep I don't know if she's gonna survive this fight 81 oh she survived way to uh, restore our mana we have a save point we can resort to that's good to know uh no i don't want to save quite yet i want to restore all of radius mana well the vast majority of it We can at least go backwards if we have to. Dick. Well, it works. Uh, Moors? Radia gained a level. He has an experience for that fight, huh? The doer attacks! He needs more damage. Not if they're good, uh, not if uh, he's gonna attack uh, Radia with, uh, with Ninth Dimension. That seems to miss her a lot. Dick! I am, however, running out of Pahonix Downs. 
So I might still want to retreat here soon. On the bright side, Rudy is about to hit a thousand health. An ether. The dual attacks. It's locked. Really? You're not gonna send a, uh, another door after me? Just, it's locked? Oh, you gotta be kidding. These assholes! Luca! Well, at least he can one-shot him. a fuck ton of experience for this one. 4,000. Um, but yeah, we might want to retreat. Well, maybe not. And we got a mat over. And I'm gonna do shit to it. Oh, crap. Okay, that messed. I'm doing a fuck ton of damage to us, so... Okay, so the Mad Ogre is down, and everybody else is gonna die! <sighs> okay, these battles are- uh, these battles are a little closer than I'd like! Okay, so... Let's see what's over here. These assholes. We really need some gear if we're gonna stand up to these guys. reason that ninth dimension doesn't seem to like hurting her okay um potion I think this one is a dead end but we certainly could use the experience we could really use the experience and the money especially Luca I mean, if they're gonna if they're gonna gangbang Lydia, and especially those uh, uh, those uh, soldiers. First off, that would be really hot. But Luca's gonna be the one that needs to survive if that's gonna happen. Yep, dead end. Well, time to go! Oh, oh, treasure right there. Me, aw, oh, shit! I think this might be Lights Up Iridia.
Luca. Yep, it's lights out for Radio. This might actually be lights out for us. Now, if I recall right, death here isn't exactly that punishing. We survived with 17 health. 17 health! And that is my last Pahonix down. No, 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 no! Fuck that shit! Okay, time to go. And bye, Rydia. We're gonna stay dead for a while. Well, that works. Okay, 28,000 gil. Well, first off, I want to rest, make sure I have enough to revive Rydia. Okay, black magic is up. So now Luca is a higher level than Rydia. Load up on those. Get those back. Well, no, let's load up on these first. Make sure I have enough. There we go. Start loading up on those. Try this again! Yeah, we kinda saw that from first hand experience. Oh, they reset. God damn it. Black magic being up, she's gonna do an obscene amount of damage. You know, like that. Oh, that's right. Okay, now let's try lefty here. I got plenty of resting items, so I can actually explore everything here. And I have a large supply of Pohonix down, so I can explore everything here. A chain whip. Well, maybe later. Gangbanging Rydia? Four twenty blaze it. Yeah, y you can gangbang Luca. I don't care. Just not Rydia. Good.
All right, time to murder. Dick. All of the treasures. Well, first off, get that save point. So I have a way to revive my, uh, to restore my mana. Destroy these assholes. Well, I might actually want to uh, want to find that save point because Rydia is running out of mana, and the only way I have to restore her mana is ether and an elixir. I don't have too many of them either. I think it was right and then center for the save point. you guys and, and attacking Luca! Okay, so it is not right. How about this one? A dumb boy. know that you do enough damage to it and it'll turn into a domovoy. Okay, okay, there you go. Ninth Dimension Rydia, she can take it. Or not! That works too! Okay, 
Okay, so where'd that save point go? These dungeons aren't randomized. At least they shouldn't be. I don't think they were. Oh, that's right, I think we have to attack a, uh, we have to fight a wall first. Die, please. Thank you. Save point. Okay. So now we have our place to bump. We have our uh, our re uh, retreat point. Just in case we need to. Okay, attack is off. That can either be really, really good or really, really bad. Uh, the tomahawk weapon is uh, basically has the same um, has the same effect as big throw. Your standard attack and your big throw command are completely different. So if I use big throw, it would actually do less damage than my standard attack command. Nope, nope, no, god damn it. Oh, Lamia. I can take those. And Rydia learned bio. Uh, yes, please. I bitches! Holy shit! Yeah, I think you're ready to go to your uh, intelligence gear. Oh wait, you are. Luca gained a level. Okay, so abilities are up. And I think black magic is down? No, white magic. Still, that is beneficial to us because it doesn't weaken um, Rydia at all. And that also means that Big Throw is actually going to do more damage than uh, than uh, her standard attack. Okay! Don't mind me just doing a thousand fucking damage to the fucking door! And the wall!
get wrecked, asshole! So we can actually stay here as long as we want, as long as we want, to be completely honest. We got plenty of resting items. Bio's doing obscene damage? On standard? Even against ogres! Holy shit! Headband! Wait a second, was that a defensive downgrade? It was. Um, I'm not sure I want that. <coughs> losing more de uh, losing more defense than the attack power gained? No, not uh, not going there. Another headband. Oh god. I keep forgetting. It's up here, dumbass. Center door, dumbass. Yeah, I ain't chancing anything. difference between abilities and standard attack command. Get wrecked, asshole! I don't actually want to fight anything other than these doors and walls. I want to preserve Rydia's Rydia mana. I mean, yeah, combined, they're they're doing absolute, uh, absolutely deadly damage. Um, killing it before it even has a chance to target anybody. Exception because the experience is just too damn good. <laughs> Rydia gains a level. Good. She needs more. Wrecked asshole. A bronze hourglass. That's it. Uh, you know what? Uh, since we already started the fight. I'm gonna have to retreat and go rest. 
We could gain the level, which is nice. Uh, no, we ain't fighting you. Okay, let's use our tents first. I think we're gonna have to use three to get all of uh, Rydia's mana back. But you know what? That's actually fine. Yep. Three to get all of Rydia's mana back. <laughs> So we still got, still got more doors to explore here. The zap effect still works. And she absolutely murdered the lamp, huh? Ability is up. Me want. Okay, so that led to a dead end. Explore uh, these doors. Get the extra experience. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck it. We could absolutely murder these guys in one bio. Still want the experience and the money. Rydia gained a level. Good. Okay. Probably should think about retreating to rest. And it's locked. Okay, so. Where's the key? I want the key. That's a treasury right there. I want the key. Well, since we're at it. May as well rest. No, rest. That didn't heal much mana at all. <laughs> okay, now we can rest. Now, now we can save. Long door. Uh, not needed. Uh, 
Oh. Okay, so we got three walls. Oh, three walls to fight. Twenty-two hundred. Wait, black magic's up. I think black magic's up. She's doing over two thousand in the demon wall. Yeah, black magic's up. Meanwhile, attack is down. Fuck it. And we got ice arrows. So we need we actually need to rest for three days before we can uh, before we can move on. <laughs> because tents apparently only heal a hundred mana. Note to self, when we get back, load up on cottages. Okay, black magic is down. There is no difference between attack and big throw. Balance. You guys are a dick. Dick. Murdered Rydia. They gangbanged Rydia and blastered uh, Luca. Bitch.
Time to murder a bitch! Always good, we need more levels. Fuck it. We'll just murder a bitch. Uh, you're single target, goddamn it. I want you to, uh, I want you to AOE that bitch. Why? Because you can absolutely murder everything. Wall attacks. You know what? Fuck it. Speed up. So note to self, run away from everything. Because they will gangbang Rydia and murder Luca. Really? Oh, we can't escape. How can we escape from that? Um, that was dirt cheap. I had no chance of healing. Yeah, random encounters on ropes. I forgot that was a thing. That should not be a thing. Come on, I want to finish this challenge dungeon just once! Gonna do that again? This time it was a back attack. Okay, now this is getting all. Uh, this is getting ridiculous. Oh shit, that was my fault. That one was my fault.
Are you fucking serious? Wait. What? Oh, that's why. It's the moon phase I'm on. They're uh, they're gangbanging Rydia. And that let him know. And once again, they're gang banging Rydia! Dude! There's somebody else there there for you to attack! You don't have to gang bang Rydia! And a monster in a box. Of course. One, two, three, and they killed her. Notice that they don't start attacking Luca until after Rydia's already dead! That's ridiculous, game! You know, I hate games that do that! They have a fascination with killing certain individuals, and chances are they're your squishies. And encounters should not be on ropes where we have no chance to heal afterwards. There's a difference between difficult and, and dirt cheap. You're really crossing into, uh, into that territory game. You are really crossing into that territory, game! Oh shit. Of course I can't escape. Why, why would it let me escape? These things seem to be a lot more powerful than they are in the base game. That is ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. And by base game, I mean, uh, really a story. That should not be the case. Come on, Rydia. And of course we're gonna die. Or not. That works. Oh, there's a door here. Another save point. Might go back and uh, explore the rest later. Right now, I just want to get 
the fuck out of here. Finish this up because you do get some rewards here. you can start healing. see what you're weak to. And of course it missed! You know, that analyzability has never hit. Whether it be this game or the last, it has never hit. What's the point of it? Bosses that you really uh, that Kiriga healed for more than Kiraja. Why? You're a fucking asshole. I say again, game, there's a difference between being difficult and being dirt cheap. And you've crossed into that territory. How you doing? get back to you on that one because this uh, this dungeon has just crossed over into a really bad threshold
Okay. Yeah, oh, fuck it. Try a different moon phase. I'm gonna try the full moon and single target bio. This has the potential to uh, absolutely destroy us. Because you may recall, his counterattack was fire egg and still dealt 600, da uh, 600 damage to us all. Ambushed? Are you fucking serious? Well, they are doing minimal damage. No. Single target the boss got him. Yep. Oh, that didn't do shit! That really didn't do shit! Get interesting though. Die, bitch. Uh, heal Rydia. How did that give me problems? Okay, so this is the reward of the challenge dungeon. Now, these treasures are actually random. And yes, this chest actually refills itself every time you run it. Now, this, uh, this also includes some rather strong gear. We got a Soma drop. Actually not such a bad thing. But this is actually how you get some of the strongest gear uh, in, in, in that story arc. We can, in theory, go back and run that again. You know, if we really wanted to. And we can run it over and over again until we got the strongest gear available to us. And I should also bring up that that is actually how you reach level cap for this tail. Now, we never did discuss level cap. What the fuck? Why am I in the bestiary? We never did discuss level cap. For your standard story arcs. You know, Sayador's story, uh, now Rydia's story, uh, level cap is 50. This actually increases when you get to the final tale. This is actually why I made that safety save with Kalka and Brina before the Demon Wall. With them now being unavailable until the final chapter, they don't have a way to reach level 50. Dick move, game. So, I'm actually considering going back and just grinding them up to level 50. That's actually what I did the last time I played this. And, and uh, making sure that, that they're all good to go uh, for the final chapter. Because again, we won't get them back. Not until the final chapter.
But it is here that I'm going to go ahead and call it a day. But before we go... Willow picking up all the health packs. GTs! Oh, Willow might not win this one. Anyway, we are going to raid my friend Mia Guwu. She's currently playing Mega Man X7. This ought to get interesting. Mega Man X7 is, is commonly seen as one of the worst in the franchise. If you like what you see, feel free to give her a follow. And as for you guys, I will see you all next Friday, 1 p.m. Mountain Time, for more Super Mega Baseball 3 and Final Fantasy 4, The After Years. Thank you all for joining me. Y'all take care.